Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about smelly pre-release. So Isabel and I went to a pre-release. It was fun. I always go to every pre-release. Now you might know that I'm not a fan of these new sets in terms of value, but pre-release is not really value. Where else can you get from 10 until 6 in the morning, that's what, 8 hours of entertainment for $30. Now I don't know why pre-release went up from $25 to $30 uh, at my locals, but it did. The price report did not go up. It was still a pack a person, but now it was thirty dollars instead of twenty five, which again not great. One of the uh, experiences we had though is every pre-release. Uh, given think about what's happening in pre-release in Houston. Houston is known for being very humid and very hot and sweaty, and people sometimes drive very far to go to this certain pre-release. Uh, and you know, so I live. Mm, is it northeast? Yeah, northeast Houston. So people from Victoria, up north, the woodlands, like people would drive to the store because they don't have stores of their own, especially east. Uh, that's where they're going. They're, that's where the majority of these people who drive come from. And let's say they drive from 7 until 10 and they're sweaty because it's really, really hot. Houston, I think it was over 100 degrees yesterday. And then they get there, there's no like shower at the facility, obviously, and it's not like they're going to stay in a hotel. I've heard of people um, who play my locals who, instead of sleeping in a hotel or something, save money, they just sleep in their car. And then play the next pre-release Saturday. So uh, to summarize, yeah, it's got to be smelly because the logistics make it smelly. Right? Just think about what I've just said here. How could it not be smelly? Um, and one of the top Reddit things about pre-release was, should you poop before pre-release? And I was talking to Isabel about this, and uh, she found it hilarious. And as do my non-magic friends. But in a small enclosed space, and God forbid, should that toilet clog, and everyone's sweaty and smelly already, my gosh, it's bad. Now, there was a place called Battle Bunker. I'm going to talk bad about it because they went out of business. Um, I typically don't talk bad about businesses that are still around, uh, unless it's like people trade. Um, but I don't expect that to be around that much sooner. So then I'll make my summary video where I really criticize it and go ham on them. But uh, one of the things about the Battle Bunker was it would be August. I remember this very well. August F and M. There was no AC. We're in Houston, and it is August. It is maybe 95, 100 degrees, even though at nighttime, it's still very warm. And what the blank, <laughs> what the hell is going on? Like, how could it not be smelly? Think about that scenario, a bunch of people, and Battle Bunker is very small. So like you're piling people pretty much on top of each other. How could it not be smelly? How could it not be gross? And it doesn't have air conditioning. So everyone's sweating and like, you know, then they're like touching their cards on their sleeves and then you can see the sweat on the sleeves, right? That's when you know it's bad. And the play mat is all like drenched in water. Like, man, it's bad. Man, it's bad. Uh, what is my solution, right? Do not talk about a problem unless you have a solution. That is why I tell all my uh, introduction developers and actually we are looking for new developers in case you guys are interested uh, in that um, not for MTG line obviously not for MTG line so what is the solution well I found a solution is now we just play in my home boxes are so cheap right now like boxes you can get them for $80 a box whatever you want whatever standard box you want you can buy 80 bucks on David Adams you can buy them for under 80 as long as you pick like whatever is on sale at the time which is okay because if you're just that casual and you're playing at home, then that's great. Um, so Kobe and his wife, uh, his wife is really not willing to go to Friday Night Magic, but she loves magic. She loves magic, but one of the main things why she doesn't want to go is because she thinks it's like super smelly, which she's right. Because again, look at these scenarios. It's not that magic players don't take showers. It's not like they don't put on deodorant, but even the best case scenario where you shower before the event and there's no air conditioning for the four, four six hours you're there, what do you think is going to happen in those four hours? Do you think like everything's going to smell great? No, it's not. Anyway, what 
what the hell was this video about? Oh, smelly, <laughs> smelly. So pre-release was incredibly smelly and we just had to leave. <laughs> we left at 2 a.m. This is like, F this, it's smelly, I'm getting out of here. Because <laughs> it wasn't, it was too much. It was just too much. Um, and uh, after them, I feel like it's less smelly because there's less people. But like the first thing I did when I got home was I took a cold shower and then went to bed. And that was my pre-release. Uh, I don't really remember too much of it. I didn't pull anything too good. I think I pulled a non-foil Samut, which is like under $5. And I was like, hey, okay, let me play this in my deck. But it didn't turn out well. It turned out she was actually not even good and limited, which is surprising for a Planeswalker, but yeah, so my my opinion is no matter how many showers you take, no matter if you poop or not before the event, no matter whatever happens, it's just these circumstances, right? Small place, many people in Houston where we're just blistering humid, right? Humidity is like 90% plus all the time. And people are sweating like crazy. Okay, the Battle Bunker was so bad. No, it wasn't Battle Bunker, it was another place. I'm not gonna name this place, but this place was so bad that like I was trying to swipe the Pokey Stop and I couldn't swipe it because there was so much sweat on my phone. I was like, come on, Pokey Stop. <laughs> I couldn't swipe it because there was too much like sweat. Please don't save money on air conditioning on pre-release. Or right, after them. Not worth it. Not worth. Anyway, that is it. Bye guys.